Part two of the microwave will not heat up. Been a while. I'm busy. So I got one wire disconnected. I can't get that screw off that holds this diode in place. So I'll probably cut it off and make a new one maybe. Or try a different screwdriver. Gotta pull this wire. So I got the new capacitor. Made in Ningbo, China. See how long it lasts. Amazon was sold out. eBay didn't carry it. And one other place didn't have it. it. Took a while to find the capacitor for this thing. The diode eBay sold. But I couldn't find the capacitor. The Mailatron is good. Everything meters out fine. So just a blown diode. And I'm going to replace the capacitor anyway. Here's the cooling fiend. Who's the main Latron? Little plastic. So, let me get these things out of here. Okay, I'm back. I had to go to HD. Pick me up an extra long Phillips screwdriver. This is a number two. Made by Husky. About eight inches long. Because you know the screws down there. I can't get a conventional screwdriver in there because it's tight. So this just fits. Let me give it a quick loose. You gotta remove this bolt anyway because that's what holds the uh, capacitor in place too. It looks like it's magnetic, but apparently it's not. That's the diode. That's what caused the whole thing in the first place. This boosts the performance or the voltage up more than what the capacitor supplies. Now this and the capacitor work in tandem. This fails and the magnetron doesn't get enough voltage to run. Here's the capacitor. I figured I'd replace it anyway. Here's the old one. 2100 volts. Really no identifying marks to tell you which is common or whatever on here, so it probably doesn't really matter how you hook it up. Here's the new one. So, guessing what the rivet is, maybe hooked up the same. I guess we'll hook it up and find out if it blows up. So, let me go wire this thing up. Okay, it's wired in. This one went on top. This one went on the bottom. Dialed where it was. So, hopefully, it's hooked up right. I'll plug it in. Up, I'll plug it up outside just to verify. <laughs> In case I did something wrong. I don't know what that crap is. Because here's the old one. That's bad because there's no reading. These are the tamper resistant torques that it uses. So the Harbor Freight thing came in handy. So. Put it back together and we'll plug it up outside and see if it fires up. Okay, so I'm outside. It's plugged in at least. Nothing of water in here. Microwave thermometer. Let's start with the temperature. Well, I'll say it's below 120, so it's room temperature, probably 70, 80. So I'll put it in for a minute and a half and we'll see if we get a reading for proof that this works. Hopefully it works. It doesn't blow up first. So, let's try 90 seconds.
I hear it running. Just in case, I'm gonna get back. And it shorts out, I got the cord, I'll yank it. fans running in the back. <sighs> Sounds like it's working. We'll find out. That's hot. The temperature. It works, it's heating up. 90 seconds. I'm gonna top out around 160. About 165. See that before it dips down again. See now it's dropping because I took it out in the air. She's fixed. Appear to behave. So a success. Saved from the landfill. Anyone else would have just tossed it. I mean I did buy another one until I could get this one fixed. So now this will be saved as a backup in case the other one quits. Well, she works. My first time repairing a microwave. So, thank you for watching. Do not repair these yourself if you do not know what you're doing. Again, because of high voltage and stuff, you could kill yourself. So this is not a do-it-yourself project. I assume no liability if you do if your dumbass does it yourself.